Hey Exiles, uh, Farrell here, and I wanted to do a video review of Baylor Mage's Summon Holy Relic build um, on the low budget, just for entry level. Uh, came out for me about six divines in, and I just wanted to go over to gear. Um, starting with the weapon, uh, this is a low dexterity whalebone rapier. Uh, I made this in the graveyard with some Essence of Fear crafts. If you want to hit tier 1 speed, you'll need item level 77, so make sure you have that. This is just 64, you want 77 if you want to hit tier 1 speed on this, but all you care about is basically the minion damage and then the attack speed for the Lancing Steel attacks. And then you'll want to get a suffix open for the trigger. Um, in a more expensive version, you multi-mod, you get the suffix trigger. Uh, as well as uh, hits can't be evaded, which saves you um, this point on the tree. So you got one extra point there. Uh, next is Aegis. It's just bought from his trade site, uh, 20C or so. Oh, so the weapon was about 10C, crafting with Essence of Fear. He's about a chaos apiece. I think I used about 5 or 10. Uh, Jeffries is the helmet, just bought 5C. The big ticket item was 4 divs, around 500C right now at current market prices is Diala's with um, uh, four green, two red. Reds have empower and enhance. Uh, and then the greens have the uh, holy relic as well as the support gems. Um, holy relic, you wanna hit 82% is probably the best middle of the road breakpoint for attacks. Uh, this has the gem at 20%. The Diala's gives it 30% uh, from the socket. And the enhance from here gives it another 32%. That's, that gets you to 82. Uh, so you want to make sure you hit that. Uh, gloves are astronauts, not corrupted. Uh, those are about 10C. I got some rare boots with dexterity on them. Um, I don't have the timeless jewel yet on the tree, so I need dexterity uh, here. So I got that here, here, and here on the rings and the boots. The ammo is ashes, but you don't need quality in this configuration. The plus one gem obviously helps to summon holy relic damage. Uh, mentioned the two rings are just rare. You want to get life, resistance, some chaos res, and the dexterity if you don't have the timeless jewels. Uh, I got a 93% darkness enthroned. Uh, that gets me with 15% poison jewels to 57%. And then I have a few jewels on the tree. I'm actually sitting only at 97%. But um, this is a 12, that could easily be another 15. Uh, I got a 14 there, 14 there, and then these are just whatever thrown in here for some life. Um, minion damage, these can be upgraded for sure. So yeah, that comes out to total uh, about um, six uh, and a little bit more divines. So it's pretty budget friendly and uh, does good damage. So i um, looking forward to upgrading with Timeless Jewels um maybe dragon fangs down the line and then actually getting my uh, final lab from uber lab so um yeah pretty good build